Hey y'all, what's going on? Matthew here. I am uh, loading up the van right now, headed to Wichita, Kansas. I swear I'm always going to Kansas for these guitars, but found this really cool, it looks like the definition of a barn find, vintage Gibson guitar from the 1950s. One of my favorite guitars of all time, and I'm um, going up there now to buy it. Uh, it'll take a couple hours, so I'll show you guys the scenery, and we'll check out the guitar, see what the story is, bring it back home hopefully try to get it playing and see how it sounds. So uh, let's hit the road. I'm gonna check it out make sure it's okay to bring a camera in there but hopefully it is uh, if you enjoy these old guitar hunting videos please consider subscribing to my youtube channel here and thanks to everyone who tunes in uh, i want to give a quick shout out thanks to everyone who's listened to my new album that just came out last week thank you to those who have downloaded it streamed it bought the cd and the vinyl can't wait to ship it out to you guys but uh keep listening keep streaming it really helps it goes a long way so let's go ahead and check this old guitar out Life, man that's that is crazy man I'm, I'm you know I'm sorry for <laughs> to have to give you this uh look at that so you you said your boss it was your bosses or something or? yeah I asked him I could buy it from him and he and he just see, that's where the crack is but, yeah sure enough okay um he said I asked him if I could buy it from him I didn't realize it was worth anything honestly and then right. I, I looked it up I'm like man this thing it looks really old and I'm like man it's got to be worth something it you know it does look old man the paint just just and, flakes off whatever's left of it you know? and I guess this is like a, a pretty uh, uncommon like a rare thing that was is this the that's that's the original tailpiece that's that's how they came it's it's super low to the body it's 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 probably because the neck is is lifted off a little bit so got a little bit of life left uh, in him <laughs> yeah I right I don't know what this guy tried to do here but man he he rigged it up, dude. That is insane. He obviously was a was a was definitely liked the guitar and wanted to keep playing it, though. He, he right. tried to make it keep working. Right. So I I took this off um, just just a minute ago just to see if I could catch a serial number on the back of it. Uh huh. Um, because the dude had told me that that was what to look for. Right. right? Because I couldn't, have, you know, there was. Yeah, it should be up there, nothing. but it's gone. But you can it's see gone. that it says it's got the Gibson Les Paul right there. Yeah, still does. Wow. That's surprising, huh? <laughs> it is, man. Um, cool, man. Yeah, man. If you could bring it, bring this back to life, I want to see it. Like, yeah. You got my. I mean, you got me on Facebook. You got my number. If sure, you can. Well, here she is, guys. I gotta make my way back to Oklahoma and see if this thing will play. It's not looking good. Uh, of course, all the paint is is flaking off. There's really nothing I can do. Uh, this is about as rough as it gets in terms of condition. Uh, you can see the aluminum foil nut. That's a first. And then on the back, as the paint flakes, uh, we have a terrible heel repair. This is really bad. Uh, so yeah, we'll get home and see what we can do, but it's a little scary, but this is a 1950s Les Paul Jr. This is a really desirable guitar. In fact, this is one of my favorite guitars of all time. Single pickup junior with the single cut. So let's get it home and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been a few days. I got in late from Wichita that night and couldn't finish the video. Honestly, didn't know what I could even do with this guitar because the condition is so bad. But I think I've got a plan now. What we can do is plug the guitar into an amplifier see if the pickup makes noise. If it does, then I will put some new tuners on it because the, the buttons are completely rotted away. And then I will put a new bone nut on it and string it up maybe in D standard or some really kind of low tuning and just play a few chords, see if, see if it works. Um, you would not normally want to do that with a guitar like this with a very, very bad repair and with the cracks that it's got, but if I don't make YouTube videos, then I go back to a nine to five job. So let's plug it in and see if we got noise.
doesn't sound good but it does work so the uh, output jack is really bad uh, that's okay though despite the tone pot being broken off the volume pot does work and doesn't have any scratchy sounds or any anything going on which is miraculous uh, the paints flaking off of course pick up just from the one string that's way out of tune actually sounds like it's got something to it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's string it up. Okay. All right. I've got some parts and tools here that will hopefully make this go a lot faster and, and easier. Uh, I've got a set of uh, no line Cluson tuners from another guitar. These should just bolt right up. Uh, this is a bone nut from another Gibson that I made that should be able to throw on there. And then this is a bridge from another guitar with an old set of strings in it. No sense in putting a new set on here. So hopefully we can just swap that out and play this thing uh, for not very long. So let's go ahead and get to it. These strings are so rusty. God only knows how long they were on here. Ugh. We're gonna be quick about it. Okay. like they were meant to go on there. There's the nut. Backwards. Hopefully this bridge will fit. And it looks like it won't. Amazing. All right. It won't fit because you can see the difference in the tail pieces. This is one of those early 50s tail pieces, I guess. Different size. So uh, this also has the, the smaller bushings, from what I understand, that would always lean over. So we have no choice but to use this bridge. That'll be all right. You know, you should glue the bridge down, but like I said, guys, this is just me trying to make a video. All right, this is going to play terrible, but let's go give it a shot. All right, guys, uh, the tuning is is really bad. The The action is crazy high. It's it's at least half an inch at the 12th fret. The uh, output jack is about to fall out of the guitar, but it is a 1950s Les Paul Jr. and it does have a magic sound. So here it is. This is the best I can do.
time to get the strings off here and uh, put it in safekeeping for a while. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see the uh, what will be the beginning of a restoration on this 50s Junior, please uh, subscribe here to the YouTube channel and follow along. I think it's going to be a really cool build. In the next episode, what I'll do is take this entire guitar apart and try to date it. So it would have had so it would have had a serial number on the back of the headstock, but all the finish is just about flaked off the guitar. So what we'll have to do is take a look inside of this control cavity here and date the guitar by the pots. Um, just by the little bit of research that I've done on these guitars and what I know, um, this one has no line Cluson tuner, so that puts it early 55 or earlier. These guitars were made in 1954 to 58 or so. Um, this could be a first year model. And also this guitar has perloid dots in the fretboard. I've read something about that. That could be an indication that it's a very early model. So it could be a first year Les Paul Jr., which would actually be really rare and mean that, I don't know, I think maybe like a thousand of them were made. So in the next episode, We'll dive into that, try to date the guitar, and we'll do the very tough task of removing these screws in the back and pulling the neck out and seeing how bad the damage is. And then from there, uh, we'll take it one step at a time and do some fret work, get the neck back in there, um, locate a few parts, and actually, I think this tone pot is actually turning. Amazing. So that's the plan for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video in this 50s Les Paul Jr. Another old guitar hunting episode. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.